Today I want to build a curtain rod holder because my current curtain rod is sagging in the middle. So I want to build uh, this here rod holder, put a couple of screws into the wall, and then slide the uh, holder inside of there. This is an example of what the holder would look like. So it uh, sits across the very top, holds the curtain, and then sags a little bit right here. And, and then we'd put this here mount it to the wall and then place it around in the middle right there. Let's get started on uh, building this curtain rod holder. One thing we will need to know is uh, the length of this. So this is saying that, uh, so from the wall we are seeing it is uh, two inches from the wall to the end of the edge of the curtain holder. Now we need to measure this here depth. So I just measured that and that's about 9.3 millimeters. So from uh, this edge to this edge, I was getting about 9.3. So I'm going to open that up and I will make it about uh, 12 millimeters. So we'll have plenty of clearance uh, so that it can fit in there. So let's get started. So we're starting with uh, on shape here. We are using a free subscription. Click create document curtain rod holder. All right, we're going to uh, start on front face here. It's going to build a sketch onto there. So let's put sketch front, and then uh, it throws the sketch inside that front view. Okay, I'm going to grab this WCS, pull it over, click, hold, drag, pull it over, and I'm going to click front here. All right, so now I'm going to start building this. So uh, I'm going to build it uh, about... I'm um, going to be about 66 millimeters to the very tip of the uh, curtain rod holder. So let's start with uh, that. So we can go from origin. I always like to start from origin. And then uh, just kind of take it close to uh, the number I want. Um, I think it's going to... So we got that number right there. We're going to type in 50. And then we're going to go down. We're going to go round. So we, yeah. So if you hover over this and it just, it will uh, curve it around like that. So we could take this back up, make sure that's uh, horizontal. How do we do that? Well, we got to take this straight up like that. If you can't get it like that, say if you're like this, it's okay. We can click out of there, let's escape that, click on this guy and go all the way up here, go to vertical. All right, and then we can take that up to there if we want by doing an extend. So right here, extend, like this guy, and then he pulls all the way up to that guy right there. So we're good, okay. Line, so we're gonna finish off this guy here to here, and then we're gonna go, what we actually can do is an offset of this guy. So if we want like a two to four millimeter, uh, let's see, let's do three millimeter thickness. So we can actually go over here to offset and we can grab that and flip this, click there and click on that guy right there and let's choose three. Let's go over here, clicking three. Okay, left click to get out of that, enter. All right, so now we can uh, build our, our shape of this. So one thing we do wanna do is lock this guy to here, this line right here, get that distance. So let's go with dimension here, click there to here. And that we wanted to go 66. And we want the distance between here and here to be 12. Okay, it broke at that point. So some of these uh, um, are having issues. So what we can do is we can break a couple of these. We can click on the show constraints. It's already showing what's in here. So one of these is uh, breaking it right now. So let's go with, uh, let's click on this guy. Okay, it's breaking it right there, that's fine. So we can just redo that and reconnect these, that's fine. All right, so now we can go uncheck that guy and we can go with this and we're gonna extend that guy up all the way to there. So let's go back to the extend, click in this guy right here. Actually, let's click line because uh, that's the end of the curve. It may try to curve it. So we're gonna go straight here, straight up like that, okay? And L to get out of that and then we're gonna hit X for extension, which is that guy right there. Extend this to this, okay? And then we can do M for trim right here. Trim that, just drag it over. All right, so next uh, we have our 66, we have our 12. 
and now we can build our shape of this uh, to make it strong. So we're going to build a rectangle here. We have this corner right here, drag it down, and we're going to go about six millimeters. So just hover over that, type in six, hover over this guy, and then we, oop, I clicked. So get out of that to get your dimension if you're missing that dimension. We should have put it in before, but it's okay. We're going to hit D for dimension or go over here, click here, click here. Let's get that dimension and we're going to say like 25 millimeters. Okay. Next, uh, we're going to build uh, some sort of lengthening ribs. So we're going to go with an offset of three millimeters. So let's uh, go over here to offset. Click on this here and then we're going to flip it. Click in there and then we're going to just hover over this guy. Type three, enter, three, enter. Okay, that it took. Right, and we can break these up. But first, we're going to uh, uh, build a offset off this face right here. Three. So I just double clicked on that guy. Left click to confirm. Enter. So now let's uh, build this point to here. And we just kind of take that and then blend it into there with a. Uh, a tangent okay let's create a line so we're going to go from this point right here all the way over here to that and then we can uh, do a trim on this guy so let's hit m to trim that guy right there and um, m to trim these okay and then let's do an offset of that right there so let's go over to our offset we're going to click on this guy right here click on that guy double click three enter left click confirm enter and let's hit M for trim. We're going to trim a couple of these. Trim that guy. Trim these two. Trim that guy and this guy. All right. So uh, now we can build uh, another strengthening ribs going this way. So let's uh, uh, so yeah, let's build that right now. So we're going to go with uh, here to here. Just, you know, you're just throwing down some dimensions we don't really have to have an exact dimension or size for this this is all we're just basing this off of what we think is strong left click there enter m for trim we're going to trim these guys just hover over and drag it hover drag and uh let's see i think uh i think it looks pretty good let's trim that m trim we're still in the trim function okay don't have anything there looks like we uh, need to combine these two together so we can uh, trim this we can trim that guy we're going yep all right so now we're going to move this over to here so distance d click there click there and we're going to hit three for that all right and then we're going to extend this guy x here to here okay it just built that shape for us that so looks good so now let's go with the uh, finish the sketch we're going to extrude this here and we're going to uh, extrude it and we're going to be symmetric. So it's 25 millimeters. Actually, we don't want it 25. We want it uh, about 12 millimeters. Let's change that to 12. Okay. And it's symmetric from the origin, which is great. Green check. And now we want to build uh, an extension off of here so that we can mount this and have like elephant ears. Uh, that come off here so we'll build that right now so we can go over here and we can build a sketch on this back surface right here sketch right here and then we will click on right and then let's build uh, uh, like a rectangle on the back here right here to here perfect and then we can do a d for dimension origin to this side and we're going to do uh, we're going to do 25 and we're going to do from here or this origin again. It lets me dimension right there to here and 25. Okay, now we can add uh, radiuses or fillets. So here's fillet. All right, and we'll change that to like 12.5. Uh, Looks pretty good. So hover 12.5, hover, click, double click. 12.5 click here click here left click same thing click click left click 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 left click 
I'm going to create a circle and we're going to figure out what size our screws are. All right, I'm going to do a screw hole size of five millimeters. Same thing here, click in there, just dragging it out, left click and then type in five. That pops up. Perfect. Green check. Now we can do an extrusion of that. So let's go rotate a little bit. Let's do an extrude. Click on that one. Click on that one. We're going to flip this to the other way. So flipping it, we're going to click on this arrow right here, flip it. We're going to change this to uh, six millimeters thickness. And we're going to add it to mer merge with part one, which is this guy right here, which is already selected. Okay, green check. So that actually already selected it and merged it together. So now that we have our general shape, now we got to think about how we're going to print this. So if we print it laying down kind of like this, we have to have supports all on this face right here, which is not good. If we print it like this, the layer lines will be, you know, it will print like this and the layer lines will not be very strong in this area. And, uh, you know, it can break off in any one of these directions. So one, we need to add some fillets radii to these edges right here. But I think the best way to print this would be like print it on a 45 degree angle. Let me hide these uh, planes here. We're going to go over, click on the little eyeball, a hide, hide, hide. And we're going to put a little chamfer just on this edge right here. And that chamfer will set it basically when we're 3D printing, we'll print it on this edge right here. So one thing we can do is put a chamfer first just on that edge. So we're going to turn off tangent propagation and we're going to take that down to like say one let's do it two millimeters sounds good all right so that is my edge i'm going to print on parallel with the bottom now okay and we're going to see how this looks when it's printing so uh it's going to follow this guy right here prints all that uh, gives over here it's probably got an overhang over here so what we can do is we can fix this uh to have a much greater chamfer or fillet into this area so let's kind of just put in a number that looks good and prevents it from uh looking like it's not going to print in that area so let's click on right there so as we're printing it up you know it's gonna it's not too drastic it's gonna print this it's gonna go over here it's gonna start printing and it's gonna build it all on top of itself so should be okay uh, what I want to do here is probably add an additional uh, sacrificial pad or I will print it uh, in my printing software. I'll add uh, something to the bottom of this, a uh, brim or raft or something like that to hold it as a support. So uh, let's export this out and let's put it into the 3D printing software and uh, see how this looks. But uh, before we do that, I do want to add a couple radii to this and uh, fill it. So fill it, these edges, we do that. Fill it, this edge. These uh, will prevent uh, like sharp corners, breaking points. So let's change that to like three. So it looks great. And then after we put in these fillets, we're going to take a look and see how, uh, how well they look. So those two are great. We're going to add a different size fillet to this one. We're going to add like a 0.5 or so. There we go. And then uh, this one. Then this one. Green check. Let's add that 0.5. Click, double click on that fillet right there. We'll add a fillet right there. Green check. Okay. So now we look like we're good. I'm going to throw this into my 3D printing software. First, I'll export this. Left click, right click, export. Let's uh, export this out as curtain uh, or rod. Rod holder, STL. And I'm going to go to my uh, printing software. So I'm using Orca Slicer here. I'm going to drag and drop my rod holder in here. Okay. And I'm going to uh, find the surface that I want to print on. So F for face. I'll click over here for uh, land face. And we found the face we want to do. Okay, so let's go over here to uh, strength. I have 15% infill. Let's go to others. 
We're going to go with the uh, brim. We're going to add a brim to this. We're going to do like mouse ears. We can adjust this stuff. Let's see what this looks like just as it is. Those are pretty tiny. Outer brim only. Let's check that. See what that looks like. All right. Yeah, I think that looks good. So we're at 25 minutes pretty much. Kick this off to my printer and uh, give this a try. And I want to show uh, what the pieces look like. So this was my first piece right here. So in this case, uh, it, I I printed it at the 45 and then the nozzle collided with the part and then snapped it off. So that one failed. So I had to increase the brim size. And now I made the brim size a little bit longer and the brim held intact. Okay, it's like thicker than a few sheets of paper. I uh, noticed a small little issue here printing. So it had uh, some difficulties printing that. But other than that, I think it did a pretty good job. Now we can put a couple screws inside and mount this to the wall. All right, let's tear off this guy. There we are. We can just pull off a couple of these little strands. Let's test it out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.